Hi, Cyrus Spruce here, back with another Distance Incremental video, episode 22, and you can see I have 40,000 elementaries, and also some elementary particles, it's really not all that much, so I'm, I'm going to disable automation and just start, start doing something with this. So I, I, I was looking here, and this is the upgrade that is based on your elementary, so if I, if I can try to get, actually I don't really want entangled strings at this point because I have so many strings right now, I don't want to lose all of them. So instead of doing that, I will just go for super symmetry. Um, I, I could also just focus on completely on strings to see if, yeah, this actually does a decent bit. Um, I could even like try to focus on each individual string individually from like last to first, so if I do like this, and then I can, I guess I can do that, and then like do the same with with this, and hopefully this will actually get me more of all the strings. That's my theory. Oops, no, that, that, I'm good here. Um, now with this, with this one, and. Now we can just do it on the first and see if this will actually do anything. It seems like I actually have a better multiplier to supersymmetric particle gain. So I I feel like this actually was worth it, at least to some extent. Now I'm going to focus on super supersymmetry. So of course I want all of these upgrades. I want this, especially the first one. It's really only the first one. Um, a couple of these are very cheap. Take as many of these as I can. And then... Take a few of these. These are very cheap, but they're not very powerful. Um, I guess I can try to get some of these. Uh, I don't really think I need much else. I'm just going to get this, and that's about what I, it for what I can do. And it looks like I'm, at least I'm getting something with the supersymmetric particles. I, I, I mean, it may not be all that much, but it, I feel like I'm getting something out of it. And maybe... I mean now, since I have a bunch more supersymmetric particles, maybe now I can I can try another build in here that focuses on just like not prions, um, not knowledge and Higgs. It's something that's focusing on like bosons, maybe. Um, I mean, there's Higgs boson gain. Um, but that's Higgs boson. I don't really need that. I don't really need knowledge gain. I, I know there's something. What, what I want to do is I want to boost the things in the boson. So like photons. But I don't see anything here. Maybe I could just do a general build and see how well that will work. So I, I, I take a few of these. I don't really need any of this. I could take a, several levels of miscellaneous. Just see, see how well I can do like this. You can even even do this and that's most of everything there. So hopefully this does something. Um it doesn't really help any of this, but possibly I'm not ninety-two percent to hedronic challenge. So at least that's something. Maybe instead well I, I've grinded the supersymmetric particles, so if I want I can focus on strings now, but it's really not that good. Because if I go to entangle strings, get everything in it. Actually, this is a little bit better than before. It was like 12 times. Now it's 32 times. This may be decent. Especially if I, like, focus on, like, something here. And I'm, I'm not even sure if that was the right choice. But that's what I'm going to pick. And then go to strings. I can double my entangled strings. And I can get mul I can get gigameters, um, so I, f I feel like, actually this is not really going to do much. Even if I grind a lot in this, I'm going to be able to, like, maybe I can get terameters, but it's not going to do much. I mean, at least I'm quintupling this, and that gives me, like, a little multiplier to all the strings. Like, I could try to get to... Centery string, but I don't really need that at this point. I'm just going to use a different build. 
Maybe I can maybe I can try to get another um three verse depth. Or actually instead what if, what if I went for prions? I haven't gone for prions in a while. So what what if I put everything in here? It's based on fermions. So just um hopefully that's good, and then just like do some general stuff like this and this, and maybe I can get something in going with prions. Getting sixty two thousand. It's Definitely enough that I could I could try to grind. Actually, I know the next. Actually, the next theoretical booster is at like, a e six prions. I mean, I'm not exactly sure how much I'm gonna want to grind this, but maybe what I'm doing is I I'm I'm really not sure, and I'm really not sure if I need like knowledge in Higgs bosons gain. I mean, I think I do need knowledge gain if I want to get 64 endorsements. Um, and I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm anywhere close. Actually, I am close to the next derivative boost, and I know how powerful these derivative boosts are. Maybe I could try to use that. Anyway, I think it's time to just try to max this, and hopefully <laughs> this will do something. There's one theoretical booster. Okay, I guess that's good, but that's about it. Maybe I can try to focus on like a general build that's a little bit more, like e even it'll be even better. So, like just try to focus on where I'm actually like where I actually am with everything. So, um, is this I'm 61% here, 47 endorsements. Um, okay, I, yeah, I want these. These these are actually really powerful, so I can even try taking all five levels of all of these. That gets me up to 91%, so I'm, I'm really close. I'm also up to 64 endorsements. I'm also very close to the next derivative boost. Um, it's about 11, or, 11 to 12 orders of magnitude away, which means I could try to get this, except this is just not going to be powerful enough. I could try to get this... Try to see if this is going to do anything. If I just max that, that does almost nothing. That's not good. Like, I don't I don't know. I could elementary because it's not, like, retroactive. But, yeah, this isn't very good. I'm not, I, like, I can try to put all this. That This is all I can do. Maybe I want pathogen upgrades instead. I'm going to elementary here just to see if this is like, this upgrade, maybe it's not retroactive or something, so I just need a reset before I can actually get farther. Uh, no, this doesn't seem like that was the right choice. I'm not I'm not any farther than before. I'm actually, even a little less far. So maybe instead. What if I go super focused on pathogen upgrades? And get as much of that as possible. And just get... Try to focus on these upgrades as well. Is this gonna... I'm, I'm actually a little farther. I'm at 93%. Except I only have 60 endorsements. And I don't... Um, like, I can try to get a few of these upgrades. But no, that's not quite gonna do it. So I can't, I can't really do this strategy. I got an achievement, though. Um, reach rank 995. Okay, then. Yeah, the thing is that now I actually have enough universes, but I don't have enough endorsements. This means this this means one thing. I need to focus. So maybe, like, I need to do something like this. Instead of going, like, all in with this, what if I did one, two, three here, get this, get... Um, at least like something like this. Get go all in here. I can't get the next pathogen thing. Put a few into knowledge. Just a few into just some general thing. I'm now 98% to hadronic challenge. I'm gonna make it. And maybe maybe uh, I, I gotta do something. So I have 64 endorsements. I don't I think I think this is possibly the best upgrade. That does nothing. What even is Infinity 410? Um, it's... The universe doesn't exist or what a stronger base near elementaries. I, I would think this would be good, but no. I'm just gonna 
get as much of that as possible. Get enough of this. I'm so close to Hadronic Challenge. So I, I really feel like I, I really feel like I'm gonna make it. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. It shouldn't even take that much time. I'm also getting a lot of Acceleron somehow. Like I I'm not even in a Acceleron build. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna make it here. I'm now 99.98% to Hadronic Challenge, which is the next mechanic. So finally, this actually took quite a while to get. And it is this. So it's. There it seems like it's a challenge. It says projected hydronic score zero, best hydronic score zero. Um, start hydronic challenge. There's also selectors, whatever that is. Does this mean I, I like choose what to nerf me with? Oh, so like for example, I can try to get this, and then this. And then just try to, yeah, I guess I'll try it like this. Can I do it? Can I do this? Um, it looks like I can easily. Um, and I can't, I can't select while I'm already in the challenge. So this, I think your Hadronic score will um, give you Hadrons, which will provide you with um, free theory points. So. I probably what I, what I want to do is I want to start. I, I'm gonna try to start a hydronic challenge with this. Can I do this? I can't even unlock the stadium with this. So no. Um, like I I just can't get enough endorsements. So what about I just do everything except pathogen upgrades do nothing? Yeah, that's a, that's an easy one. So that will help a little bit. There's also infinity selectors and. Um, this says disable. I can't really do anything with this. I can try infinity selectors and main selectors. I don't. What if I tried like 1e, e, 1 10,000? Can I try this? Hmm. So I, I guess I, I just want to go for a reasonable um, challenge goal. This is, this is interesting. I can't, I can't quite do this. I can try e550. And then I can get a decent hydronic score out of that. But I'm, yeah, this seems like it's gonna take a while. Maybe there's new upgrades. Oh yeah, there is new upgrades here. And also, I'm not quite sure if I'm in the most optimal build for this. Like pathogen upgrades do nothing. I yeah, like I'm gonna need if I want to do pathogen upgrades do nothing. I can't really be focusing on pathogens here. Maybe, inst okay, these are 1,000 and 1,500 theory points. There's also this upgrade, which seems really nice. I'll definitely get that one. I'll probably focus on a no pathogen upgrade. So I'll get like this, um, get some of these, get a few knowledge of Higgs. There's also Pantheon upgrades, so you Gain purge power outside purge runs, but at a reduced rate. And um, these are generated faster based on your purge power. I don't really. I, I'm not sure. I guess I'll. I'll. You know what? I'm just gonna put everything into here. Put a few into here. I guess I can get one in here, and then do that. Actually, I really should have gone for more of these. But now I'm gonna try a better hydronic challenge. Yeah, this is actually super easy to get. So that's that means I'm getting a better hydronic score. What if I what if I just try something again super high like this? 1e10,000. Okay, no, I can't get that. It looks like what I can do is about 1e1040. And that will give me a decent hydronic score, I think. So if I do this, um okay. It's a little, oh yeah, because it's universes. I'm being way too precise. 21,020 should do it. If I just wait a few seconds, there's that. So now I'm actually starting to get some free um, theory points. I guess I probably want to get some of these upgrades, and maybe I can, I can go even farther with this. Like, what if I went 1e, just something super high here, just to see where I can land in this. Okay, can't really get anything with this, so um, 
this is a, this is an interesting mechanic, and like with this, since I'm just getting theory points without doing anything, this is gonna be huge. Like especially if I can get like, I mean, this is Hadron gain is boosted by her best ever endorsement, so I could just focus on Hadron gain, and because it's, it's not a, not a lot per second. And then there's the Hadron effect interval occurs twice as often. So I, I feel like that just means that you can just do that every once in a while and you get a bunch of free theory points. That's what I'm seeing. There's also a new Entangled String upgrade, which that's a very weak upgrade. It's literally two times. I mean, it's, well, it's boosted by my Hadrons and I guess I'll get more Hadrons. Do, is there anything, there's also a new thing here. I need 1,600 in theory points, though. So, um, no, I can't really do that. Accelerons, I do not need any of. Is there anything here? Could I could focus on prions, but I don't really think I need that. Um, I don't really think I need a lot of this. I think I'm just going to try to experiment. I'm, I'm, I'm probably just going to try to get some hadrons. And you can see, like, because I'm just getting, I'm just getting it like automatically, and once I can get a thousand theory points, I'm gonna get the Hadron gain is boosted by your best ever endorsements. And this probably, I'm not exactly sure how powerful it's gonna be, but it seems like it's gonna do at least something, and this will give me a whole bunch of free theory points. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.